The beginning of the atomic age in the 1940s raised awareness about radiation because of its association with atomic power. Today, radiation powers nuclear power stations. But radiation is found everywhere. In the oceans, rocks, soil, plants, the atmosphere, and even our bodies. Natural sources of radiation are usually insufficient to be dangerous. However, overexposure to radiation can cause serious biological and environmental damage. This risk means that mandatory safety procedures must be followed at all times. Let's learn more about radiation safety procedures in the laboratory. Radiation safety procedures might seem onerous, but they protect people and the environment from the harmful effects of ionizing radiation. In the lab, these procedures are always followed when working with radioactive substances. Exposure to radiation causes biological damage. The greater the dose of radiation, the worse the effects. Some effects occur a short time after exposure. The long-term effects of radiation exposure can manifest months or years later. The genetic damage resulting from radiation may cause malignant cancers such as leukemia. Exposure to radiation years earlier can therefore shorten a person's lifespan. When large amounts of radioactive substances are released into the environment, the radioactivity can contaminate the air and water and food supplies. Laboratory safety procedures provide vital safeguards to prevent accidental exposure or release of radioactivity. To avoid radioactive substance from being ingested, you must never eat or drink in the laboratory. Always use gloves and wear protective clothing including lab coats, masks, and shields as needed. After completing your work, the area should be thoroughly cleaned. It's essential to properly dispose of or store all radioactive materials and equipment. Your lab will have special radioactive waste containers. Once you have finished working with radioactive materials, you must wash hands and arms thoroughly. Performing one or more trial runs with non-radioactive materials will test the effectiveness of your lab procedures and equipment. In any situation, you should aim to minimize your exposure to radiation. Three basic methods help protect people from radiation. First, you should spend as little time as possible next to a radiation source. Less time spent close to a radiation source results in a lower dose. Second, you should maximize your distance from the source. The further you are from the source, the less radiation you will receive. The third method to minimize exposure to radiation is shielding. Shielding physically prevents atomic particles moving from the source to where they can do damage. Common shielding materials include steel, concrete, lead, and soil. Familiarity with radiation safety procedures is useful in many industries. For example, radioactive materials are used in medical imaging. In nuclear medicine, radionuclides are combined with other elements and various chemicals to form radiopharmaceuticals. Radiotherapy uses high-energy radiation to kill cancer cells. When using these applications of radioactive materials, scientists and doctors always follow the correct radiation safety procedures.